Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a group chat in Microsoft Teams. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is click on the chat icon in the activity bar. This is going to bring up a list of all of your chat messages. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the new chat button. That is this little square with the pencil in it. And then you want to look for the people that you want to include in this group chat. So I'm going to go ahead and search for my colleague Diego, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my colleague Joni here. So you can type your uh, participants' names and then press tab or just click on them. And then what you want to do is go ahead and send a message. And there you go, you've now created a group chat with your colleagues. Now there's some pretty cool features of group chats in Microsoft Teams. Um, one of my favorite features is the ability to rename your group chats. So right now, the name of this chat is just the names of the participants. If you scroll up to the top of your screen and click on the little pencil button, this will allow you to rename this group chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a name and then click save and I can rename the group chat. It's a handy little trick for you to be able to easily find these group chats when you're looking for them, okay? So I'll also quickly show you how to add people to an existing group chat. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll up to the view and add participants button and click on it. And then if you scroll down and click on add people, this will allow you to add in some additional individuals. So you can go ahead and start typing and look for the person you want to add. And Teams is also going to give you the option to expose to the new participants um, the chat history. So by default, you can see here the option that says don't include chat history, um, or you can choose to include the history of this chat for a certain number of days, or you can choose to include all of the chat history. So it's a handy little feature. Um, and then the last step is to go ahead and click add, and you've now added another person to your group chat. So that's it for this tutorial. I showed you how to initiate a group chat. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.